G'day there, Nick Bowditch here. Today I want to talk about being influenced by other people and particularly um, how many times we might be influenced about doing something um, by people who are doing nothing. And how many times we listen to people bagging us or critiquing us or you know, criticizing us in some way from wanting to do something, from doing something, from creating something, when they are in fact doing nothing. And I'm reminded again today that most often people are going to um, or try to influence people who are doing something because in their own life they feel like they they know that they're not doing anything and they don't want that exposed and and that light shone shone on them they don't want that mirror held up to them and so they'll lash out or they'll you know criticize or they'll bag you or they'll just put sometimes just put a little bit of doubt in your mind about what you're doing and i always think you you know we it doesn't serve us to be to let other people attack us cover their own fear by attacking us for investigating our own curiosity, you know? There's no successful haters. There's nobody who's, nobody is te- who, nobody who's saying, don't do that, don't try that, don't be that, don't create that, or whatever. Those people who are saying those things aren't people who create things, you know? They're, if somebody is able to create, if somebody is able to influence, if somebody is able to be successful, in something, then they're not going to bag somebody else who is also trying to be successful in something else. The only people who critique you that way are small people with small minds and with little ambition, you know, for their life. Not just ambition doesn't have to just mean a great job, big money, nice car. You know, it can just mean that they don't want to change. They don't want you to change either. And I would really support you if you are surrounded by those people, just not to cull them or whatever, you can if you like, but my suggestion would be just to turn the volume down from them a little bit and turn the volume up on your own voice that says, I want to create, I want to try, I want to keep moving forward, I want to do something different, I want to make an impact, I want to have a go, I want to have a crack. And if it sucks, it sucks, but at least I will have had a crack. You know, I was speaking to a good friend of mine who's an artist this week and we were talking about, you know, not everybody likes every single Beatles song. Not everybody likes every single Picasso painting. Sometimes we might look at it and go, oh, I like this guy, but that's not a very good version of it or or whatever. And, And that's fine. That's art, right? That's creativity. And, but that doesn't diminish Picasso's ability to create or the happiness that he would have derived, maybe, hopefully, um, from creating those things. Don't let other people cover their own fear and their own smallness by attacking you for, your, for investigating your own curiosity. It's too important. It's the big magic that Liz Gilbert talks about. And um, I really support you to go and investigate your own big magic. Create, make, be, love, and believe in yourself, speak nicely to yourself, get some self-love cracking again.